Good evening. Right, next task, making the screen. Uh, this is going to be polycarbonate. Uh, and as you can see, it's got a bit of a curve on it. Uh, some people say you can actually force it round and screw it on, but that's going to put a lot of tension, especially in this roof, which is not exactly steel. And this, so I would not put a lot of tension in that. So I'm going to thermoform the screen on a mould, which I'm making at the moment in here. I want to pass the parachute. Might get used one day, you never know. Anyway, right, here's the mould, which is made out of wood and aluminium. You can see it's the uh, aluminium has been shaped around an existing screen that I've got. It's not a perfect fit, but it's good enough for what I want to do. It takes a lot of stress out of the uh, polycarbonate when it's been screwed into the, into the screen opening. First of all, I've got to dry that wood out because there's a lot of moisture in there and you don't want that in the, in the oven when you're trying to form the polycarbonate. Once that's dried out, I will put the polycarbonate in with it and then dry the polycarbonate out because polycarbonate is actually hygroscopic. Hygroscopic. Can't say that even with teeth in, uh, which means it actually absorbs moisture. And if you actually try and heat it up to about 155, 160 degrees, which is what it needs to do for it to actually drape over the mold, it turns into a vapor and that forms bubbles in the actual plastic, which don't look very well. So put it in the oven, bring it up to about 120 degrees Celsius, and leave it in there for six hours. Regularly opening the door to let the moisture out. Uh, once there's no more moisture coming out, I can't see any. Six hours is usually about right. I will then ramp the, the temperature up to about 150, 560. At that point, the polycarbonate should start to drape into the shape of the mould. Once it's done that, turn the oven off, let it cool naturally, trim and fit. Well, that's the plan. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> 